after you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. See ya! What's going on, fellow Fuzz Buds? It's all about the circle here in the back of another video just to educate my people. Okay, so I was just thinking that I haven't really introduced you guys to many of my other characters. And I do indeed have four characters in total. And so I'm going to like, you know, just kind of explain why I made these characters because in case you guys don't know, I, <laughs> I do not do very well when it comes to creating new characters. That's probably like one of the main reasons why whenever I make adoptables, they don't go very far because, you know, my whole imagination when it comes to making new characters is just a little bit on the dim side. So, yeah, there's that. So, we'll start with my, um, the favorite character that I created, you know, aside from Zabu, and that would be Kenshi. He's this kimono, fennec fox type elf looking dude, and I pretty much just made him on a whim because I was bored and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let my imagination fly for once and actually see what comes out. And I actually drew a couple of different things at that point in time, but the one that stuck was this guy. And I think that his name was like Volsung or something like that to begin with. But I didn't really like that name per se. So, you know, as time progressed, you know, I was getting quotes and stuff about, you know, getting a possible kimono head or like a suit made. And so I was like, hmm, if I'm going to like actually go forth and actually get a suit from this character, I'm going to need to give him a name that I actually like. And so I turned to the name Kenshi. I forgot exactly what the name Kenshi meant, but of course I took inspiration from Kenshi from the Mortal Kombat series, even though the two characters do not correlate in any way, shape, or form. That's just, you know, where I got the name from, so we just kind of stuck. And you know, he's this cool little guy. I think that he's going to be a little bit on the shy side, you know, to represent, like I said in the past video, to represent like the inner me. Because, you know, like I say, I was a natural born introvert, but I decided to uh, uh, ah, crush that sense of being so that I can be a more positive person, be a more respectable and outgoing person, be a more outbursting person, and, you know, bring up other people's spirits in the wake of bringing up my own. So there's that. Next, we have good old Taro Kojima. Now, this is another character that I just kind of created on a whim. She, you know, she, her design isn't all that complicated. She's just, you know, a normal common cat or whatever. She has a very punk-like, you know, repertoire going on or whatever. And I guess, like, that would be a bigger representation of, like, if I, you know, were into, you know, feminine things like that, or if I were female, that would more than likely be my starting character. I don't know if that would have developed into an actual persona, but that would have been, like, the character that, you know, I would have started with, you know, just having my image and stuff like that. I actually made a, a Twitter account for her, but, you know, I haven't really done anything with it because it's kind of hard for me to actually project that stuff because I haven't, you know, given her a defined personality. Because if it's just like me, gender bent or whatever, kind of like when I did Zero the Circle, you know, it would just be me saying the same stuff, just under a different profile. So, haven't really gone that route yet. And of course, last but not least, is the good old Angel Dragon I made, Nox. Now, I really, 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 really love the design of this character. It's still simple, but I like it. And you know, it's a very cool design. Of course, I made him back when, you know, Angel Dragons were at a super, super, super duper all-time high. And I just felt so inspired to make one because I'm like, you know, why the heck not? They're pretty much everywhere, you know, and it was a nice and cool, you know, Species and it's still booming to this day. Not like the <clears throat> mana kits that just kind of came out of nowhere and they were really popular for an extended period of time and they just slowly kind of drifted off. But like angel dragons, they're still, Dutch angel dragons I should say, are still a pretty big deal to this day. Much like the good old Merp and Circles are. <laughs> so yeah, and actually I do want to eventually have fursuits for all four of my characters, not just Zabu, but Nox, even um, Terra and um, Kenshi as well. So yeah, and of course, once I start introducing these characters, I should probably start like making little scripts and like doing little sketches and stuff. That way I can actually let you guys see who the uh, the characters are, how they interact with each other. Though I don't know who voiced Terra 
if she'd even have a voice. But yeah, that's on another set, another station. That's something I'll think about at a later point in time. But yes, those are all the characters that I have made so far. I have made up other characters like in the past, but none of them have really stuck. Those are like my characters. So yeah, you will probably be seeing more of those four sometime in the very near future. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So if you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can go post more awesome content in the future. You wanna talk to me? Have some Twitter. You wanna stay updated as well as know the next q and is gonna be? Have for affinity. Wanna draw fair and artists out of the circle? Fair and artists always welcome. Keep it PG-13. Nah. But as always, my name is Abba the Circle, and I'm out of here. La 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 la. <laughs> Question of the day: Are you a person that's like me who has a very hard time making characters, or do you have like 1,700 characters in a big? group. <laughs> Post your comments down there in the dibbly below and I'll share my thoughts with you guys. Wow.